So this is going to be a tutorial on how to solve the Rubik's Domino or 3x3x2 depending on your terminology. Now this method was come up with by Stefan Pachmann as it required fewer moves than the original algorithm based method which took longer and therefore it's a little bit faster. Now the Domino is actually it's somewhat simpler than the Rubik's Cube but there are some caveats as since not all axes can be turned 90 degrees, some sides have to be turned twice. And as a result, you can't use a lot of the stuff you know on the normal Rubik's Cube on this. So you need to learn some more stuff. So I'll go ahead and scramble this. So what you want to start out with is solve four edges. Doesn't matter if it's on the top or bottom but when you're finished with those four edges you place them on the bottom layer and then you work off that so the way I do this is I solve the yellow edges on bottom while they're on the bottom and then I work off that but it doesn't matter if it's like on top or bottom they flip it over just as long as they end up on the bottom so this is standard color scheme for America so if you have white on top it's red, blue, orange, green, all around. So, edge to work off of. Here's blue and yellow. So, well, blue, green are opposite, and red and orange are opposite. So, I put this piece over here. So, that means orange and yellow goes over here. And then, red, blue, orange, green. So, red. There. That's solved. Once again, you don't want to do it while it's on the bottom layer, just when you're done solving those edges, put them on the bottom layer. Now the next step is corners, which is actually fairly simple and it needs one, only one algorithm, which is very straightforward, very few moves, and it's, it's, it's very easy to remember. So what you do is you look for corners, now on the top layer, this top layer, that belong in the bottom layer, and then you do the algorithm. So okay, here's the orange and blue corner for the yellow side. Put it above the spot it has to go into and do this algorithm. Also note that right and right backwards are the same thing on a domino because you just turn the side twice. And then you just keep doing that for the rest. So here's blue and red. Put it above. Do the algorithm. Green, orange. Last one. Now, if you come up with a case like this where you have all the corners that belong in the bottom layer out of the top layer but they're not all solved like see how these two corners they're in the right layer but they're not in the right spot then just as you would on beginners 3x3 you replace it with a p another piece that puts it back in this layer and then you can put it the right way from there so say you want to knock this piece back out knocked out and then just put it over the right spot do the algorithm and then solve the rest. And that should get you one layer of the domino finished. Now the next step is solving corners. You need two algorithms for this, but if you if you're really just you just want to solve it, you don't care about solving it fast, you could probably get away with learning just one, but if you wanna if you want a decent knowledge of how to manipulate the pieces then learn just learn the adjacent swapper first, then go for the second one. But if you want if you want to be more adept at solving a domino, then learn both eventually. So there's two cases. There's actually three. The third one is you got all your corners solved, but only two need algorithms. The two cases would be when you need two adjacent corners to be swapped, and then the other one would be two diagonals. So as you can see, I already have have the adjacent case, what you want to do is you want to match up your headlights of those two matching corners to their color. And then for adjacents, 
you position the domino so the up front right and up back right corners need to be swapped you do this algorithm and you'll notice your corners are solved now for the diagonals case you'll notice you get this if you have no headlights so you just turn the top layer till two corners are matching then hold it so up front right and up back left need to be swapped and do this algorithm solved. Now the last step is solving edges. This you'll need algorithms again and once again you can probably get away learning just one of them but um, I'm gonna leave a link in the description to the website I got these algorithms off of so you can learn more if you want to get faster. So the algorithm I'm going to teach is the adjacent edge swapper which switches the up front and the upright edges so to the this here's the algorithm and they're switched and then the other algorithm which is the up front and the up back edge and it's fairly simple swapped and then with those two algorithms you should be able to solve the rest of the cube pretty easily solve domino. Thanks for watching this video. If you liked, then favorite, give it a thumbs up, and subscribe for more tutorials.